Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen. Another big exciting day in my kitchen. Where are we going? What are we making? So today we're going to make something really fun. We're going to make a pasta with zucchini. And you ready for this? Roasted almond parsley pesto. Oh, does that sound fantastic? And we're going to make a salad. So we're going to make this in a cold presentation. And it's fun and it's easy. And I'm taking you guys to northern Italy. Genoa, Portofino, many different versions of pesto came from that area. So we're going to take the version made with a roasted almond uh, and we're going to make this, like I said, a, a salad, a cold presentation with the pasta. So let's go over ingredients. Let's start having some fun. First thing you're going to need are some bow ties. Aren't those cute? You can make it with penne pasta. You can make it with a lot of different versions of Italian pasta. But in this case, we're going to make it farfalle. We're going to make it with, uh, with little cute little, little bow ties. Those are fun. So we're going to take one pound of a dried pasta farfalle, half a cup of almonds, and we're going to roast these. So we've got a half of a cup of whole almonds. You'll need about a cup and a half mm, of uh, a flat Italian parsley. I'll tell you, parsley is such an underrated herb. It's, it's herby. It's grassy. Got a little bit of an earth flavor to it. It's got a little bit of pepper kick to it, almost like, a, like an arugula, but not quite as much. But it also has a little citrus feel to it, almost like a, like a lemon, which is it's really delicious and delicate. And it's something that you want to use in a lot of Italian dishes. You're going to need around a pound-ish of zucchini. So really, in this case, I've got something a little bit larger and then even larger. So probably going to use about one and a half of these. Next, in pesto ingredients, you're going to need some Parmigiano Reggiano. Oh, so you're going to need about a cup and a half of grated Parmesan Reggiano or Parmesan cheese. Next, you're going to need some lemon zest and some lemon juice. So in this case, we're going to use about one tablespoon of lemon juice. We're going to add a little bit of acid to our pesto, and then we're going to add the zest of the entire lemon. We're going to add that to the pesto, and that's going to be just delicious. Lemon is... Uh, is sunshine, brings sunshine to the palate. It lightens the palate. It, it stimulates the palate to basically receive additional flavor. Now, guys, we're going to add a little bit of cooking Italian with Joe, <clears throat> a little extra kick. So I'm going to add a half of a teaspoon of crushed red pepper flake, a little pepperoncini, okay? Oh, that's going to be good. That's hot. I'm not taking any aroma of that one. Now we're going to add some foundation of Italian cooking. So we're going to add two medium to small cloves or one large clove of garlic, not bulb, okay, which probably wouldn't be a bad idea. But in order to make that pesto, we're going to add this as a smaller bulb of garlic. So I'm going to add two cloves of garlic. You're going to need salt and pepper. So today I've got pink Himalayan salt. I love pink Himalayan. It's earthy. It's a little bit briny. It's got a lot of minerals. Good for you. And it's sexy. Pink is sexy. So this is a sexy dish. Black pepper. Always go with fresh ground if you can get it. Next, I'm going to need olive oil. I'm going to need something Italian, extra virgin, something from Puglia, which is right above the heel. Why? They make the best extra virgin Italian olive oil in all of Italy. Hmm. I want a grassy, earthy, peppery. Where would I go? Oh, I know. Hey, listen, I would go to my website or my Facebook page, and I'm going to tell you why. Anybody new to our channel, we own a uh, olive grove in Italy, in Puglia, right above the hill. And I named the company after my two sons, Vito and Joe's. And we co-op with a whole group of farms in there to bring you some of the best extra virgin Italian olive oil you're ever going to have. And I know what you're thinking. Geez, where do I go? How do I get it? Just go to my website, Cooking Italian with Joe or Facebook or Instagram, click buy it now, grab yourself a few bottles, we'll drop ship it right to your front doorstep. And, and when I look at it and I think about it, I always think of uh, that's a great way to take a trip to Italy right, right in a bottle. Okay, ingredients are done, commercials done. What do you say? Let's start having some fun, let's get cooking. While my pasta water is coming up to temp and giving me a rapid boil, I'm gonna go ahead and, and I need to roast my almonds. So I'm just gonna take my pan, I'm gonna spread these out evenly, I'm gonna turn the heat on medium high. And watch these because you're literally only looking at about five to six minutes once the pan's warm to get these toasted. Now, it's only been literally just a couple minutes. You see how you're starting to get those brown spots on there? It's exactly what you want. It's important to keep the almonds moving in that pan because we don't want to burn them. And guys, I've got a nice little roast to them. See how they're all getting a little brown in there? I love it. I'm going to give them one little turn and they're done. So I'm going to go ahead and just take them out and put them right in my dish. Next, guys, we want to slice up the zucchini. Fastest way I know is I've got a breville here, and it's got a, it's got a slicer. So I've got it set here on the dial to three and a half, which will be perfect. And that's how quick that is. I'm going to turn my heat back on the pan to a medium heat. 
I'm gonna take about a tablespoon and a half of Vito and Joe's extra virgin Italian olive oil, and I'm gonna put that all right in the pan. You can see it getting hot already. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my zucchini, and I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my pan. Give everything a really light stir. What I'm looking for is to get these soft, but not mush, and I wanna get a little caramelization on them if I can. Just get a little bit of a brown. Take some salt, guys, and season my zucchini. About a half of a teaspoon. I'm gonna take some fresh ground pepper, season my zucchini. While my zucchini's cooking down, I'm gonna go ahead and put my pasta in the water. We're gonna give it a really good stir. You figure this is gonna take about six to eight minutes. Get over here, stir our zucchini again. Now guys, while everything's cooking down, I'm gonna go ahead and take my garlic. So I've got my two cloves of garlic, give it a good smash, give it a good peel. Garlic's done, now our food processor is gonna do the rest of the work on that. Next guys, I wanna zest up my lemon. So you can take the zest of a whole lemon. I'm gonna cut this lemon right in half. Go ahead and squeeze this lemon, I want about a tablespoon or so. Next guys, I'm gonna take my parsley. So I'm gonna need a cup and a half of the parsley. So the easiest way to do is just take a knife and cut it across the parsley. Guys, our cup and a half of parsley ready to go. We're gonna get that ready for the food processor. Last thing we're gonna need, guys, is our Parmesan Reggiano. We're gonna want a good cup of cheese grated. That might be a little bit more, but who cares? You can never have enough Parmesan Reggiano in your pesto. Guys, let's check in our zucchini. So our zucchini is pretty much there. I want it to brown up just a bit. Now that this is almost done, I'm gonna go ahead and take my red pepper flake and add it right to my zucchini. And ever so gently, I'm gonna give it a nice stir. Let's check our pasta. See how you can see white, a lighter color, and then it gets a little bit of a darker yellow, where you can see the flour is somewhat hydrated, not fully. That's what I want. That's where I know I'm at that al dente. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the heat off. I wanna take my pasta out of the water. I wanna put it in the dish, but I don't want it all stick together. So I'm gonna take about a tablespoon of Vito and Joe's extra virgin olive oil. I'm gonna go ahead and put it right in the bottom of my dish. Take my pasta out. Give it a good shake, you want as much water out as you can, and then put it right in there and then just give it a stir, and the olive oil will prevent it from sticking. Pasta's good to go, give it a good final stir, make sure I got a little bit of olive oil and everything. Throw it right in the refrigerator, and I'll stir it a couple times in there, and I wanna get everything nice and chilled. Guys, my zucchini's done, so I'm gonna set it right to the side, get it off the heat, I'm gonna let the heat dissipate just for a few minutes, and then same thing with the zucchini, I'm gonna throw it right in the refrigerator, and I'm gonna let it chill down. A Couple other things that make this dish come out fantastic is when you subscribe to the channel. So there's a red button right down there, when you click that, hit the notification bell, give me a thumbs up. Not only will it share our videos to other people looking for great Italian cooking, anything else we got going on, on the farm, it'll come right to your notification box. Blogging with Borio, trips to Italy, recipes, any type of travel tips. And I'll tell you what, it always means the world to me when you subscribe to the channel and makes you, makes you part of the family, makes you part of the Cooking Italian with Joe Club. On the olive oil, you probably already ordered it. I can hear it being shipped to your house. All right, let's get going on our pesto. First step in our pesto, guys, I'm gonna take my two cloves of garlic, pop them right in my Breville food processor, and I'm gonna hit pulse until it gets nice and fine. Next, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and add my almonds, roasted. Oh, boy, they smell good. The aroma of those are delicious. Same thing, I'm gonna pulse it until I get a fine chop. Next, I'm gonna add my salt, about a half of a teaspoon or more. Next, guys, I'm gonna add my fresh ground pepper, good half a teaspoon or more. I'm gonna go ahead and give that a pulse. Now I'm gonna add my parsley. I'm also gonna add my lemon zest and one tablespoon of lemon juice. I'm gonna give that a pulse. You see the consistency there? It looks like a fine sand. That's perfect, that's what we want. I'm gonna add my extra virgin Italian olive oil, Vito and Joe's. Give that a good pulse. And you see how it starts to get a little milky? It starts to get a little creamy, that's exactly what I want. I'm gonna give it a scrape down with a spatula. Last thing I'm gonna add, guys, is my Parmesan cheese. Give it one last pulse, and that is some delicious pesto right there, guys. Now, guys, I took the pasta out of the refrigerator along with the zucchini, and I put the pasta with the zucchini, and I just poured over the pesto right on top of the pasta. And now what I'm gonna do is just give it a nice gentle stir. I'm gonna top it off with some Parmesan Reggiano cheese. Now this being a pasta salad, guys, we're gonna pop this right back in the refrigerator, probably for about 30 to 45 minutes, and that'll give it a nice chill, a nice cool temperature for it, and then we're gonna bring that out when we're ready to serve. It's been about 45 minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and slide my pasta salad. I got my serving dish. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my perfect bite here. Oh, look at that, is that delicious or what? Oh, did somebody ask for more cheese? Yes, please, thank you very much. So I'm gonna go ahead and get our perfect bite here. I got pesto, so I'm gonna grab some pasta, some zucchini. That looks like the perfect bite, you ready? I wish I could do it for you guys. Boy, I'll tell you, the aroma first off hits you with the cheese and the, and the pesto, the parsley. Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Immediately you get the pesto, the cheese, the parsley. 
I get that little bit of a crunch with the roasted almonds, which just adds that rustic, delicious almond flavor. The garlic, the salt, the pepper. Mm. And I love the zucchini because you cook it down. So it's not a harsh zucchini flavor. It's, it's very gentle. It's mild. It's almost like eating a zucchini flour. And now I'm getting a little bit of that heat, just a little bit. And what's critical about this is the, is the pasta. You undercook it just a little bit. You want a nice, good firmness to it, a nice bite, you know, that al dente right to the tooth. And the same is true with that zucchini. It's still got a little body to it. You know, it's not mush. It's got a little bit of a bite. Now that's a delicious salad. Mmm, molto bono. Hey guys, thanks for taking a trip to Genoa, Italy with me and enjoying a delicious salad as we overlook the Italian Riviera, if only. Now remember, hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, share our videos with other people, hit the notification bell, hit me on my website, Cooking Italian with Joe, or Facebook or Instagram. Grab yourself and your family a few bottles of Vito and Joe's extra virgin olive oil. We'll drop ship it right to your front doorstep. And last but not least, guys, and really the main tip, the main reason we started putting together these videos for you and your family is this. You know, once a, a month, a couple times a month, get around the table with your family and tell stories, make dishes, celebrate your heritage, whatever that might be. And even more important than that, guys, set some traditions to last your lifetime. I know they did for me. Hey guys, from my kitchen to yours, until next week, mwah, buon appetito.